Hey, ya guys. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think I like that. Okay, hold on. Fix the hair. But I'm not a professional. <laughs> Do not attempt this at home. My neighbors probably think I'm nuts. It's fine. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Happy 2022. I know it has been a hot minute. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to be an independent woman. Actually, an independent man because 75% of my subscribers are male. Um, and I recognize that. But, but. The tube has seen you grown up. Look at you, look at you, I love you too. Mm. Starting the new year off right by showing you how I load up my dirt bike in the back of my pickup truck. I know, most people know how to do this, but I figured why not record myself doing it? Because before this, I drove an SUV, so it was significantly different. And before that, I drove a normal like, What's the car? A sedan, I drove a normal sedan. So I'm gonna show you guys how I loaded up into my pickup truck. For reference, I am five feet, four inches. I am quite short and quite small. Um, and a ditch is gonna be your best friend, simply put. So let's go to the front of the house and let me show you guys how I load up my dirt bike. And I'll probably show you how I loaded up on a hitch carrier too, because why not? Right, Iggy? Right. Look at him. Isn't he just so precious? Iggy, Iggy. Show them how cute you are. Look. Look up here. So cute. Okay. Let's go to the front of the house. Step one is to grab your dirt bike. Step two is to take it out to the front yard. And you can avoid all this by just simply going up to a random man and asking him, if they will help you load up a dirt bike. Anyone at the track is willing to help you. Everyone's super nice and kind. You just go up to them. This is the line I use. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind hold, like loading up my dirt bike for me? I'm quite short. I will give you a beer. That's the line I like to use because who's gonna say no to that, you know? Ask me, I would know. I have not been turned down yet. So maybe use that line first before you attempt to do this at home. Do not attempt this at home. <laughs> this is not, do not attempt this at home. Do not attempt this at home. This is for professionals only. <laughs> Love how my camera is sideways, but we're gonna, we're just gonna work with it now. Do not attempt this at home. <laughs> That's kind of persuasive. Okay, so ideally you wanna back up your car or truck into the back of a ditch like I have done here so it's recording now I'm gonna go get my ramp okay can you see me now okay so here's what I did I set up my little ramp here ideally again you want to step up ramp if you are able to get one or you know if you're on the market to buy a ramp don't buy one of these buy a step up ramp because it's worth your money i have this as a hand-me-down from my dad so i'm using what i got and um i'm fully capable of stepping up from the grass onto the tailgate but if i was not then i would carry my step stool over here i would prop it next to the uh the ramp and i would use that to load up my dirt bike so one of the main reasons why I start my bike and I kind of guide it up the ramp is because I'm not strong enough to just push it up by myself. I could also ride it up. So those are my two options. I could either push it up with the motor. If you have enough clutch control, do it. That's what I do. Um, but you could also totally ride it up if you feel comfortable and capable. I don't ride it up because I just don't. It's probably better that way. I'm pretty clumsy. Like I would probably send it over the roof of my truck. So I'm gonna show you guys how I loaded up this way. All 
All right, so first and foremost, you wanna make sure that your ramp is on a nice sturdy ground and you don't have just three bolts on your ramp. I have three bolts on my ramp, it's fine. Next step is to make sure that you tighten your dirt bike on whatever leverage point that you're going to use. Most people tie it down using the handlebars. I tie it down using these little hooks on my triple clamps. They're, I don't know, like 10 bucks. You can buy them off of Rocky Mountain ATV and they just um, attach to this bolt right here on my triple clamp. Super easy, doesn't scratch up my handlebars. Purpose of this video, the, the strap is not tight. So I just literally hook it here. And then once my bike is nice and tight on the other side, I would tighten up this side. My car has two leverage points. It's got like a little hook down there and another hook on the other side, which you probably can't see, but that's what the straps are held down by. And always I wanna make sure that um, my tire is um, leaned up against the bed of my truck so there's no slipping and sliding there. You, if you have a long bed truck, ideally you want your bike to be nice and straight on your tailgate, but because I have a short truck bed, um, I'm putting my bike sideways. So that's what I did here. So now when I jump down, this ramp is also really nice because it folds. So let me show you guys how I fold up my ramp. I literally just drop it and I flip it over. It's kind of rusty, <laughs> but it works. And that's how it folds up. Okay, so that's the ramp. And if I want to, I fold up my tailgate and now my dirt bike is safely secured in the bed of my truck. All right guys, and here is part two of the video. So if you do not feel comfortable loading up your dirt bike into the back of a truck tailgate, you can also use a hitch carrier, which a lot of people like to do just because it's less stuff that they have to carry. Let's say you have two bikes, you can put your bikes on a double hitch carrier, and then you have more space in your truck bed for your riding gear, for example. But I'm gonna show you how to take out a hitch and load up your dirt bike onto a hitch carrier. So here, you wanna take out the hitch. Every hitch, actually, I don't know if every hitch has this, but you have a pin. This is called a pin. You just pull it out and then you have like this thing. You pull it out, don't lose it. Also, make sure you don't lose the pin. Don't lose it. <laughs> and then you could, you should be able to freely take this out. For step number two, you want to grab your hitch carrier, BRB. Okay, so we have two, okay? We have a double hitch rack and then we have a single hitch rack. The double, it is, it is much heavier than the single. Uh, benefits are obviously that it can carry twice as many bikes, but it's also heavy AF. So, how I carry it, again, I'm five foot four, won't mention my weight in here, but I'm pretty freaking small. Uh, so, when I grab it, I like to grab it by the middle because that allows me to have the most leverage, okay? Just for size comparison. Probably twice as, twice my size. All right, anyway. Oh my God. <laughs> so. <laughs> this is, this is a fail. This is not a fail, this is a great video. All right, backing you guys up so you guys can get the full effect. All right, and then you want to grab your little rampy ramp because these things require a ramp and you're gonna put it dang it I'm gonna have to probably go closest to the truck so I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna ride my well not I'm not I'm not gonna ride it but I'm gonna walk it up there but you also want to make sure that you have your straps ready so let me go grab the straps 
These straps are the SRT straps. They are far superior to any other strap I have ever used. They're heavy duty. My dad got me turned on to these and I have not looked back since. I have not broken a strap. The only thing that's really broken on this is like the little press button. And that was with straps that were like old, you know? So on my ramp here, I have two mounting points. So I'm gonna mount them here and mount them there. Next, I like to prepare my straps and do myself a favor so that way I'm not bending down and grabbing them while I'm loading up the bike because the bike itself is pretty heavy. So I have one draped over the tailgate and then I have another one that's draped on the hitch carrier. Now when I have it all the way pretty much on, you want your tires to be inside of your ramp. So you guys see how my rear tire is not inside the ramp. That means I have to kind of finagle and put the tire inside the ramp. Ta-da, and that's it. That's how I load up my dirt bike to go riding, using either a hitch carrier or a ditch with no hitch carrier. But I'm gonna show you guys how I take this down too. Um, it's easier than loading it up and you guys are about to see why. <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell me that I had a big black mark across my face right here? It's fine, I'm just leaving at this point. It's the end of the video now. So anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. So much fun and exciting stuff that I have planned for 2022. Con just dropped their 2022 um, gear line. So I'm sure I'll do like a review and demo slash first impression on that. Um, some other exciting fun stuff that I randomly thought about the other day, but in all seriousness, do not attempt to load or unload your dirt bike uh, by yourself for the first time. Make sure that you have somebody around you in the event that your dirt bike falls on top of you. Um, had that happened to me, I probably would have just figured it out. Um, but worst case scenario, you don't want to load up your dirt bike while the engine is hot, have it fall on you, and then you burn yourself and um, hurt yourself. Yeah, God forbid that happens. So. Um, ideally you want to have somebody close to you and next to you. I've been doing this for quite a while. So had my bike fallen on me, I would have just figured it the F out. That's what I would have done. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below and I will catch you guys in this week's videos. Definitely this weekend. I think I'm racing. I think I am because why the heck not? I have nothing better to do, right? <laughs> I don't want to. I don't even know what class I'm going to raise or what day, but hey, hey. see ya.